Hello reader friends. Here is another fun Christmas book for you. The name of this book is Mrs. Claus Takes the Reins. It was written by Sue Fleece and illustrated by Mark Chambers. The publisher is Two Lions and the copyright date is 2018. See that woman peeking out the window? That's Mrs. Claus. Look at the animals in this story. Look at the squirrel, the rabbit. They all seem to be looking around as if something's just a little bit wrong. Wonder what's going on. Let's read and see. It's Christmas morning and everything's set. Oh, the animals are wondering, so why hasn't Santa Claus woken up yet? Hmm, that is strange. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, time to get up. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, they're trying everything to wake him up. Look at all those noisemakers. Some hot cocoa, please, in my jumbo size cup. I'm stuffy. Achoo! I'm sneezy. I'm slow as a yeti. My big <coughs> ho, ho, ho isn't holiday ready. Oh, we must cancel Christmas. Oh, what a disgrace. Uh-oh, Santa must be sick. I have a solution, says Mrs. Claus. I'll go in your place. <gasps> Hooray, cry the elves. But look at Santa. He's so shocked he spilled his cocoa. <gasps> the reindeer look a little shocked, too. So Mrs. Claus quickly assembled a crew. Then she mapped out a route from Taiwan to Peru. She made a supply list and checked on the weather. The elves helped her gather the presents together. Well, it sounds like she's got it under control, guys. What do you think? They gave her the list, and they packed her some snacks, then loaded up all of the boxes and sacks. Then Mrs. Claus bravely climbed onto the sleigh. Don't worry, she said. I will save Christmas Day. Wow, she is very brave. With a snap of the reins, she shot into the night. Merry Christmas to all. Wish me luck on the flight. Good luck, Mrs. Claus. After some flying, they spied the first town. She called to the reindeer. Let's start heading down. She gracefully shimmied through chimneys with ease arranging the presents beneath all the trees. This job is so simple. In fact, it's delightful. But soon the wind swirled and the weather turned frightful. She flew through tornadoes, through blizzards and sleet, which nearly blew Mrs. Claus off her seat. Oh my goodness, she better hang on to those reins. Hope she doesn't lose her iPad. The ride became lumpy, bumpy, and things started squeaking. She saw that the fuel in the sleigh had been leaking. Keeping her calm as she stayed in control, she stuffed in some ribbon to plug up the hole. That was quick thinking. They glided through Sweden and bounced around Spain. 
then galloped to Texas and zoomed up to Maine. Look out, shouted Rudolph, an incoming duck. Poor Prancer pulled left and his bridle got stuck. A rein became twisted around Vixen's head, which made them start traveling southbound instead. Oh my goodness, poor duck, but he sure made a mess. Mrs. Claus said, I have to act fast and untangle the rein. I may not have magic, but I've got a brain. Look at there. She's getting him untangled. Good job, Mrs. Claus. The problem now conquered, they got back on track. She felt one more present still left in the sack. I'll send it straight down. It's our very last one. Then Mrs. Claus hollered, yes, we're finally done. With Rudolph's nose leading the way through the air, they reached the North Pole with 10 minutes to spare. She entered the workshop and to her delight, discovered the elves had been waiting all night. Hooray! They lifted her up as they shouted, Hooray! Our own Mrs. Claus has just saved Christmas Day. Look at her sign. Congratulations, Mrs. Claus. Oh, they're all so proud of her. She did a very brave thing. Oh, and look at her now. She is worn out. Look at her sleeping. And all the reindeer, you know, they're tired too. Even the elves are worn out. Aw, Santa must be feeling better. Now he's bringing her some hot cocoa. I think he's going to have to heat it up later. The end.